Canva quiz maker, how to create a quiz on Canva, step by step. Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you guys how you can create a quiz for YouTube on Canva. So let's jump right in. Now we've all seen those general knowledge quizzes that Canva it can easily be built on Canva and those are garnering so much attention on YouTube and you can easily build one in bulk using ChatGPT and Canva. So let's jump right in. First off, go into the videos tab and then click on create blank. Once you click on create blank, title your quiz. So this is going to be my general knowledge quiz like this. And once I do that, it's time to start building. First off, I'll build the first slide and I will use font combinations to make my video look more interesting. So I will take this text and this will be general knowledge quiz like this. Now I'll just resize this a little and I will place that over here. I think I'm going to ungroup these elements and then I'll add a background color as well. You can even go into the element section and search for a background and you can go into the graphics. You can see there are a bunch of different styles of backgrounds that you can incorporate. So I'll be taking these little colored gradients and I'm going to change the font color over here as well. I'm going to make it a darker peach color like this, like so. Once I've done that, I can add my general knowledge quiz and I'll change the font for quiz to make it look more interesting, like so. I'm going to take something that's really nice and bold that is going to look interesting with our initial font, like this. Yeah, so I think this looks pretty good. And now I'll just resize this over here. Now to give this a bit more depth, I recommend you incorporate elements that are going to be movable. So simple elements like sparkles or adding animations to certain elements can help you in making the elements look a bit more interesting. So first, I will place this right at the center of my page over here. Once I've done that, I'm going to add the quiz, general knowledge quiz. And then I'll click on the quiz section and then I can click on animate and then I can add a type of animation to this. So I want this to have a typewriter animation only on the entrance. And I can also add a motion effect such as a pulsating or rotating effect. Now I want this to be a five second screen and after that I will click on add page. Now again I will be using a simple background over here. So I think I'll be using this type of background and I will just expand the size of this over here. And then I'm just going to place the element over here and I'll do Command C and Command V and then place the bottom half and then choose to crop it like so. And I'll just crop this section from here like this. And just like that, we have our Canva background ready. We're just going to place everything like so. I'm going to incorporate this a bit more over here. So once this has been completed, I can add my quiz questions and answers. So to make this easier, I like to go into ChatGPT and I'll ask it to write five general knowledge questions and four options for answers in a tabular form, highlight or make the correct answer bold like this. And now ChatGPT will generate a table for me and I can easily create a bulk create with that. So I'll show you guys how to build the template for that. Simply click on add a heading and then start with a smaller size for the heading. Over here, you're going to add the question. So you're going to rename this into question like this and I will choose a pretty normal size. I think I'm going to go with like a 63, 60, 60 font size for the question and I'm going to change the alignment to the left side and then place it over here. Below that I'm going to create four sections so I'll click on add a heading and then I'll resize that and then over here I'm going to add this four times. 
but I will go into elements and I'll search for blob. And once you search for a blob, you can take one of these blob elements like these to have as a background to the options available. So I'll just do this and then I can select these two elements together. So I will just select these two together and then copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste all four options and then copy and paste that over here. Now, once I have done that, I can add a few decorative elements such as a timer like this. So I'll add a timer like this one. And I want to use one which is actually moving. So I will take one, two, three, and I think I want to add something that is actually going to be a five second timer. So I'll just incorporate, I think I want to use something that is nice and slow. One, two, three, four. I think this one is pretty nice. So I'm going to add that one over here on the top like this. Once I've done that, I will simply go into ChatGPT. Now I will simply copy this and then I can go into the app section on the left. Once you go into app, search for bulk and click on bulk create. Click on enter data manually and then you're going to click on command V. Now if you click on command V and it pastes everything like this, you can click on upload data and you're just going to take the data and then go into Google Sheets. You can just go into Google Sheets over here and then open up a Google Sheet. Once you have a Google Sheet, you're going to paste in the data and you guys can see again, this is not entering data the way that I want this to be. So I will have to copy the tables as they are like this. So if I copy them as they are, like that. Now it's entering data in the correct format. So I can actually go back into Canva and click on enter data manually and I'll click on clear table and I'll do command V and you guys can see everything has been added correctly. Remove the first line. So I will click on the first uh, row over here. I will click on delete row and now I have all of my questions and all of the answers. Once you do that, click on done. And once you click on done, you're simply going to click on the question section, click on connect data and select the first field. Then go into the second one and then select the second. Then below that, I want to add the third option. Then we are going to add the fourth and then we're going to add the fifth field. Now click on continue and click on generate five designs. Just like that, your five general knowledge quiz designs will now be created. So you guys can see this is the general knowledge quiz and I can delete the, you know, general knowledge quiz page in between like this. So now that it has generated all the pages for us, all I have to do is take a look at the correct answers, which are Perez, Harper Lee, Jupiter, Oxygen, and this. So all I have to do is go into the bulk create and I'll take the first frame and click on duplicate page. Then the first answer is Paris. So I'll go into the background and convert the blob under Paris to green, which will illustrate that it is the correct answer, like so. And then I can convert the rest into a red color to demonstrate that these are the wrong answers, like this. I can click on pink and then replace the color to red. You can even click on change all to change all the colors to red. Then I like to go behind the green blob and I like to click on animate and I like to add the flicker or the pulse effect to display that this is the correct answer. Now, if I go ahead and play my video, this is our general knowledge quiz that we can now upload. And you guys will see this is our first question. What is the capital of France? And then you have five seconds. And then after those five seconds, we are going to be told the answer just like that. You can add a few different transitions in between to make this a bit more seamless. And just like that, you have your quiz ready on Canva. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.